This is my programmable switching current load. I should probably start out by saying I see absolutely no reason to build anything like this. There's no benefit to it at all that I would think versus using a linear type. So with a circuit like this you could probably get fairly good uh, output power but again you're going to dissipate the same amount of power and you're probably not going to get the response out of this type of a design that you would and you're injecting a whole bunch of noise yeah I don't see any advantage to it but just a different approach I guess here you can see I've got a unitrode switch mode power supply it's basically just running in current mode this up here is a temperature sensor if the uh, sink gets too hot here it's going to shut down the output driver here it's an IGBT it's rated for I don't know, quite a few amps more than what I'm going to be able to pull out of the supply here you can see underneath it it's basically copper straps magnet wire it gets its power off of the power supply that I'm using to test it and we're just trying to put out a constant current so assuming we're not drawing enough current to pull the power supply down below a voltage where the switching supply won't stay running uh, this will just continue to work fine Let's see here I've got it connected to my 6285 it's an old HP 6 amp uh, linear power supply you can see I'm drawing about 3 amps with this thing. Switching it quite slowly. It's just hooked up to my old ARB and I'm giving it a ramp. Currently I'm using my current probe here. It's just attached to the output of the supply. And it's set to uh, 1 amp per division right now. And that's at uh, 50 millivolts. Channel 2 here you can see set to 50 millivolts. You can see here what a ramp looks like. We zoom into this. The yellow here is looking at the gate drive. It's about a 25 microsecond uh, period. See a sign, triangle, ramp, square. I've set the ARB up to I'll put a 200 millisecond pulse. Again, we're set at uh, 50 millivolts per division. We'll go ahead and change that to 100 millivolts per division. And here we can see our pulse. So you can see we're now at 2, 4, 6, about 8 amps. Pretty much shorting out the power supply here. See here the power supply is starting to fold back now. I'm basically trying to increase the amount of pulse current I can handle. Attach this big ass capacitor to the output of our power supply. And I've moved our current probe to the output side of the capacitor. And again we are at uh, 100 millivolts per division here. Or 2 amps per division. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And about 13 amps here. And the yellow trace is looking at the gate drive. And the red is the output from the current probe. The 6285 is limited to 24 volts. Where the 6289 has an upper limit of 50 volts. So what we're doing now is we've got this set up for 30 volts output. The problem is the Tektronix current probe has a upper limit so we don't want to overdrive that thing so anyway so this is a 0.01 ohm shunt here it's just attached to one channel of the scope that channel is set to 100 millivolts per division so that's going to give us 10 amps per division so here's our pulse Two divisions or about 20 amps. Again, we can make this smaller or whatever. Right now, you see about a, this is currently about a three millisecond pulse. 
Again, we're at uh, 100 millivolts per division. We're about a 30 amp output right now. So again, any reason to build anything like this? I'd say probably not. There's just no benefit to it. If you're trying to load down the power supply and you're trying to dissipate 100 watts, you're dissipating 100 watts. I don't care how you dissipate it. You're still going to have to get rid of that power. That's going up in heat. So It's more complex, more noisy, costs more. I don't think it's going to respond as well.